What is up you guys, it's Funko Tom over here. How are you guys doing today? I really hope that you guys are having a great day. Thank you so much for taking the time out of your busy day to go ahead and click up on this video and view up one of my vlogs, you guys. Thank you so much. Today's gonna be a really great and special day. We have some fake Funko Pops that we have received in the mail. And I'm about to go ahead and show y'all this right now. Kind of bummed out about this one right over here because I was searching for this pop for quite some time and I thought I was gonna be able to get this one for a deal, but I actually didn't. But we actually have a Golden Frieza San Diego Comic-Con 2015 apparently supposed to be a pink sticker Funko Pop but looking at the sticker a little bit closer I see a maroonish pop y'all so um I'm gonna go ahead and show y'all this y'all right, so the angle of how I'm recording this is kind of difficult so please bear with me we have the Golden Frieza Funko Pop right over here apparently supposed to be a pink sticker but check that sticker out y'all does that look like a legit sticker right over here y'all so it is in a pop stack so the seller did a really great job on actually um making it look authentic by putting it in a pop stack but nonetheless y'all i can tell you that this one is a fake i did confirm with some other um collectors out there dragon ball z uh, funko pop collectors out there that this pop right over here is fake um be aware if you are trying to complete the dragon ball z funko pop line there is this pop figure right over here it's called golden frieza 2015 san diego comic-con um funko pop y'all and be careful if you're actually hunting out for this shared sticker or shared sticker comic-con sticker for that matter you guys um there is a shared sticker i believe it's a black one don't quote me on it yeah yeah, yeah it is a black one the red eye frieza is a is an actual con sticker if i'm not mistaken I'm gonna take this sticker out of the box because they ain't even real to begin with. So this is the pop that we have here. The pop it looks uh, legit, y'all. They did a really great job um, pulling out the sticker on this one right over here. But check that out, you guys. I don't know if y'all are actually able to see that, but check that out. We have Golden Freezer right there. And look at that 2015 San Diego Comic Con sticker right over here, y'all. That does not look like a pink sticker. Like I said, y'all. Um, the San Diego Comic Con 2015 sticker is actually pink and this one actually looks maroon y'all so kind of a bummer on that part that we actually got this one as a fake but nonetheless the pop is real I could tell that the pop is real and Golden Frieza is not that bad of a character y'all um I did get in a fake um the box is real um everything is real about this Golden Frieza Funko Pop but um the sticker y'all the sticker is the one that actually gave it away um nonetheless you guys let me know in the comment section down below what y'all think about this fake Golden Frieza Funko Pop nonetheless y'all I do have it in my position and actually get to take it out out of the box and display it y'all because we got a ton of golden freezes and I am still hunting out for this pink sticker golden freezer Funko Pop I mean I do have another one in my possession y'all which is right underneath this whole collection that I got going on over here but we're not gonna go ahead and mess out with that but this pop looks really really legit you guys just let me know in the comment section down below what y'all think about this one right right here you guys so this is the fake Funko Pop I received over from Makari and it is a Golden Frieza SDCC 2015 Funko Pop as you can see right over here but you can see the sticker right here is actually maroonish uh, rather than pink and like I said you guys I paid 300 ish dollars and um, I went over to Makari right over here and I sent them a whole ton of pictures of what I received from them and I also showed them the difference between a real and a fake Golden Frieza Funko Pop just based off the um just based off the stickers and this is what they had to say um here you go there you go here's what they had to say thanks for sending those photos I gone ahead and issue you a full refund uh to the form of payment uh, you will receive you will receive notice that the transaction has been completed, but rest assured We have issued a refund. Please keep in mind that it may take five to ten business days for the For the refund to be reflected in your bank account, but typically it will arrive much sooner You won't need to return the item. Please dispose of it at your earliest convenience Thanks for sticking with me through the process. As a token of appreciation, I've added 5% 5 5 off coupon to your account for so and such purposes and so and such. And cheers, Vivi, Team Makari. And yeah, y'all, <laughs> I got a Frieza, Golden Frieza um, Funko Pop with a fake SDCC 2015 sticker right over here, pretty much for free, y'all. And 
I have to actually dispose of this item, but I don't know you guys, it's a golden freezer. This pop is still authentic. It still has the barcode underneath. I don't know if y'all are able to see it. It still has the barcode underneath. It is an authentic freezer, y'all. They just replaced the sticker right over here. So I am going to hold on to this golden freezer. I hope Makari does not find out. And yeah, y'all pretty much got this freezer for free because it is a fake and let me know in the comment section down below what y'all think about that one right away there you guys all right you guys so we also have a package over from ebay and i actually opened it halfway and it is still bubble wrap y'all so we're actually gonna go ahead and open this sucker up and show y'all what did i receive so y'all are probably gonna be like uh, shouldn't you have this funko pop already but i assure you not you guys I do not have this particular pop in my possession yet and I really hope it comes in a minty box. Oh, it looks really mint. Yes, y'all, yes. Check this sucker out right over here, you guys. We have, check it out, you guys. We have Dragon Ball Z Super Saiyan Goku number 14 out of the pop animation line. And this one is a Glow in the Dark Entertainment Earth exclusive Funko Pop. And I did get this Entertainment Earth uh, exclusive Funko Pop because of the sticker y'all check out the sticker the sticker actually shows whether if you have the OG original version that um, that actually first released so this one was the very very first glow in the dark um, Dragon Ball Z Super Saiyan Goku that got released over from Entertainment Earth and they actually had a second wave of these pops that had a rerun with the market without this text logo right behind the box you guys so you would actually have two of these figures and you could actually identify it just by the sticker you guys so we're actually gonna go ahead and check out the other one and compare and contrast and show y'all what do i mean all right you guys so i got both of the pops right over here check it out so this is the first og original version that first released to funko and out to the stores as well y'all so this one has the white sticker and this one actually has the black sticker when they uh, needed to do the second rerun because this is when Funko decided to start making reprints of these pops because they started to become vaulted more quicker and the hype was pretty much there when um, Top Pops actually blew off with Funko y'all but these look really amazing you guys um, on the back of the box it actually does have the quote um, I was actually mistaken but check that out we both have the quote but the only thing different is this piece right over here y'all check it out just that piece how it has a toy um toy logo on the og version one and it just has it by words and a smaller wider font but yeah y'all let me know in the comment section down below which one would you actually cop would you actually cop the og original one or would you cop the 2.0 version let me know all right, you guys, so I got this package here from Roundfly, and we're about to go ahead and slice and dice and show y'all what did we get. So, oh, check that out, y'all. We have the limited edition Batman enamel pin. Now, this enamel pin looks really huge, y'all. And this one actually lights up as well. It is a limited edition piece, y'all. Only limited to 500 pieces. So let me know. Let me know in the comment section down below what y'all think about this one right over here. I do not know if they still have some more in stock because this is a limited piece. But I don't know how big the Batman line is. But I know it's a huge line when it comes out to the pops. But um, this pin looks really detailed y'all let me know in the comment section down below what y'all think about this one right over here and i don't think that this will sell out over at uh, lounge fly just because i don't think it's as hype like as hype as that hello kitty diamond edition funko pop that got released over at lounge fly as well y'all but this one is still dope let me know in the comment section down below what y'all think about this one right over here you guys all right y'all so we're about to go ahead and check out the glow see how this sucker glows so okay Hmm. Oh, oh, oh. Really breaking things. Check that pin out, y'all. This one looks really nifty. And let's see, let's see how it works. Oh. Oh, no. I think I broke it. Did I break it? Oh, no. I think I broke it. No, I hope I didn't break it. No, I think I broke it. No. Oh no, I think I broke it, guys. Holy cow, I think I broke it, you guys. Oh boy. 
Ooh. Dang it. Oh man, I am not. All right, y'all, I kind of messed up this enamel pin. Um, there's like a little rubber, there's like a little rubber piece that attaches to the back of this Batman enamel pin and it is messed up, you guys. So, um, uh, we need some hot glue. Boom! Boom! Check that out, you guys. Fix. And all I used was tape. <laughs> so we're gonna go ahead and pull out this little strip, and hopefully that we, hopefully we don't pull out this. Oh shoot! This rubber piece is coming off again. So I think I should have used hot glue, but yes, we can check that out, you guys. That enamel pin is lit. I don't know if y'all are actually able to see that, but we got one light on. Check it out, looks really amazing you guys. Um, I honestly do not know why this other light is not lighting up, but... Wow, bummer. Bummer, you guys. <sighs> that sucks, y'all. Um, I do not know how to explain this to Angie, but... <sighs> this, this enamel pin sucks, you guys. So, Batman, Loungefly, Sucky enamel pin, especially with this broken light. Limited 500 pieces, y'all. Anyways, you guys, I really hope you guys enjoyed today's vlog. If you guys did, make sure you guys hit that like button and subscribe and hit that post notification bell so you guys are receiving more of my content, you guys. Anyways, y'all, take care.